Good morning, my lovelies. Take a look at my big blue moon. That's a big blue moon. So I had one sip of my coffee. I was counting the days for the lockdown to end, so I thought, ooh, four more days. And as it turned out now, we have an extension of two more weeks lockdown in ACT in, here in Canberra. And that is just terrible. But anyway, what can we do? We have to live with it. So more time to spend with my little babies. So let's go and talk about beautiful succulents. I got my empty bucket so far because I am going to inspect some of my plants that needed some attention. Ah, what are you? Benny Sumi. And that one is my machete, my fat variegated machete. It looks like a uh, Pachyveria something else. I got my other sharp machetes, but that one has just gone fat, really fat. This is a tiny little plant. I don't know whether it's a purple dream. I had a look online and it kind of looks like purple dream, but I'm not sure until I actually have something or someone that can say, yep, that's a purple dream. So. With the lockdown and everything, I can't have my friends come over and confirm this with me or compare it to someone else's um, purple dream. So at the moment, it's just a dream that <laughs> it's purple. <laughs> so I'm still putting a name uh, called purple dream because I have purple dream growing somewhere else, but it's in the shade and it's green. So that one is out in the open gorgeous plant but then now the sun's really not good for doing videos but anyway I am inspecting my babies here which okay I probably need to get up and sort of block the sun uh, that one is a Debbie hello Debbie I have a few Debbie strains so this is a Debbie the one at the back there is also a Debbie that's actually my very first Debbie or the babies from my first Debbie because my mummy Debbie got attacked by mealybug but I was able to propagate from leaves oh look at this one so that one is that is my Echeveria Gunsen and that is the last of my Gunsen that has survived the mealybug that is actually loved by the mealybug and that's also similar to time out this just sitting in a pot is still just planted uh, in a pot I haven't I mean in a plastic pot so it's just sitting there and that pot it's sitting on I'm just checking to see if it's soft gorgeous plant but it's thin leaves and pointy tips like the it's actually beautiful it's just that it requires a lot of watering and also it dries up really quickly so we need to remove oopsie some dry leaves and where are you so she's pretty enough I just remove a couple of leaves and that's it and I need to go somewhere oh look at that that one is Jade Point look at the beautiful colors and some of the plants from the top or from above is dropping its leaves on top here oh okay so I leave that it's a gorgeous plant beautiful I have one Fiona's Choice that I need to repot. Hello, I just saw you've got some leaves that needed to be cleaned up. Okay, so Fiona's Choice here is uh, got lots of look, dry leaves in the bottom. It's very satisfying removing some dry leaves or cleaning up. Maybe we should do some relaxing cleaning up video. Just cleaning up. No talking, no music, no nothing. Just the sound of <laughs> the hamster 
forceps this is what it's called now i someone commented that it says hemostat okay so thank you it's hemostat forceps and locking so it locks see look there you go. So, any leaves that's trapped on the tip of that is not going to go anywhere. And look, it's got lines or ridges. See, look at that. So that way, the whatever is in here, you can just go. Oh, look, I got a baby. <laughs> oh, a baby. A baby. What are you? You're a baby something that's fallen from the top. I think you're a baby... Never mind, I can see from the top, but I can't remember the name. Anyway, Rosolares. Yes, a baby Rosolares over here. Look at that. Oh, so the leaves drop from the top and it grows. Look, you don't believe me? Oh, don't kill the baby. Okay. So, look, it, it doesn't have any roots yet. But the baby plants are already showing. So now... I'm looking at my camera, it says almost three minutes, and I had four minutes uh, earlier. So that's already seven minutes, and I haven't even covered anything yet. So that's why I feel like sometimes when I move about so quickly, it's because I want to cover as much plants as I can. And in the process, okay, I go really, really fast, and then you can't see uh, these beautiful plants and this one, I got this one with no name. And I only have like one, two, about four plants of this. And then now they have grown so much and I don't even know what you are. What's your name? What's your name? But they are forming different shapes. So I got these ones about, look at the shape, uh, two years ago. Well, almost three years ago now. I just drop it there or planted it there. I didn't drop it there. I planted it there. I saw, uh, look. See, I'm going across on the other side, but I see some uh, soft leaves. But this one, this is in my intermediate soil mix. And I just saw some dry leaves, and I can't help myself. And it's about to flower. And it's like a cup. So it's got a cup uh, uh, shape. What do you call that? Leaf, leaves, uh, leaf shape. Blah, blah, blah. My tongue is all twisted up. Okay, I need to do some stretching. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so it has a cup shaped leaf. So look at that. It's like a spoon. That's probably a better term for it. But they all came from, well, they all look the same. So one, two, and that one, two, three, four. So it's like, this from here, you can say, oh, it looks like a Lola hybrid. And the other one there, it looks like maybe a Pollux or Lilacina. They're all hybrids. And tissue culture can throw off so many, many looks. But on the other hand, speaking of Lola. Hello, Lola. Beautiful Lola. Look at you. Gorgeous Lola. So this is one of my Lolas. And you can see the, it's just big and they need to be pulled out and put, look how big that is, like big, big Lola. Need to go and put it in a individual pot. These are succulents that I bought a few months ago. Oh, look, this is now another simulans here sort of rotting down in the bottom. They need to clean up. These are not my plants, sorry. Um, looking at oh it's up above here my tray now this one see i forget now so many plants this ones are you yes they are bought once i was going to do a video on showing you how to repot this or clean them up this is now this would have to be at least six months that one there is no at least six months so about eight months november and look there's a little fluffy mealybug hiding there look at that so every time you see that that's a mealybug and we go check see it's still planted in oh sorry spider um okay no more mealybug so you really have to check so this one is uh, polydonis uh, i like to buy 
different strains just so I can compare the difference or similarity of the growth now this is now going to be a long video but it doesn't matter you can have as long video as you like some of you says but this one is uh, look Caputia, Scaposus, uh, Ka... Uh, is that Cavalescens? No, Cavalescens. Oh my goodness. Flat tip leaf. Caputia, <laughs> Scaposus varieties, Caposus pointy leaf. So there's a flat leaf and a pointy leaf. So this came from a pointy leaf, but it's grown a couple of flat leaves. See, look at that, the flat leaves. So I have to find the name, find out. Oh, look, see, yep. So look at that. See, the flat leaf and then pointy leaf. But that one is a very easy to look after plant. So this, this succulent, basically, you get it, you grow it. Once it's rooted, especially if you buy it rooted, you just pot it up and leave and forget about it. And four years later, you're going to have plants looking like that. So are you four years or three years? Three years maybe. So anyway, very easy. Three years actually. So started from one one plant, one little tiny cutting that I bought. And oh, I can see some <gasps> caterpillar. We got a caterpillar. I hate them caterpillars. It can't be avoided. You can use systemic pesticide. But I don't like using it in my garden because I have a lot of fruit trees. So if you're growing it inside, then <laughs> I don't know who you're going to kill inside. You haven't got bees inside, but pesticide, fungicides, chemical stuff, I don't like using them. So as much as possible, hang on, we have to be organic. Ooh. Okay, I'll leave that one. Why am I trying to remove that? So this is how it goes. And my Hira, Hira, hello, you're still all right? Okay, oh, like that one, there's one leaf off. Normally, when there's one leaf off like that, there might be a baby because the mommy leaves or the top leaves would sometimes dry off. There's a lot of dry leaves in the bottom here. And, hang on, I just took a sip of coffee. So, oh. I can't um, get a hold of it because I can't see. I just hit my beautiful Orion. Beautiful. That is quite large. Orion, two of them here. Needs to go in the garden. Oh, that Lola is so gorgeous. It's just so striking. Eh? Cubic frost. Hello, beautiful. You look like a brain. Do you have some brain? Yes, you do. You've got pink brains. Beautiful. And one of my leaf-grown West Rainbow. And look, are you showing some variegation? Maybe. And, oh, lithops, the tongue. What happened to you? Oh, the tongue is still there. That's supposed to be another plant, but then now it can't be. I think it got stunted, but it doesn't matter. Look, I got some seed pods. I collected some seed pods, seeds or last season when it flowered or the last time it flowered so I got one two three four seeds or five at the back so anyway that's just gonna dry down and I'm gonna collect the seed pods when it does thank god I'm just seeing something up here that is an Echeveria subsicilis and then up the top what stopped my heart is the color of this Bernalensi variegata look at you Gorgeous. And at the back, I just saw the pink and like, ah, okay, look at the pink. Hang on. We covered the sun so you can see. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. So two babies growing at the base of it. So I can't even chop chop the mummy here because it's just so beautiful. I don't want to, I don't want to kill you. So I will lose a lot of the leaves in the bottom and if I try and save the leaves and propagate it, they actually grow into just a normal uh, Bernalensi. 
it's not variegated anymore. So these are a lot of the variegated plants. When you try to grow it from a leaf, they will revert back to normal. And this Rolly here, I chopped the head off, the mother head off, and then now it's got one, two, three Rolly. So cute. And they're still variegated, so that's the only way you can propagate variegated plant. A lot of them is by head chopping. So now, what are we doing here? We are looking at this gorgeous little plant here. Silk revert. It's called silk revert. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that. Ah, I don't know why. It's probably because it's got some silk variegation that reverted. <laughs> Something like that. But, oopsie, I just dropped a cotyledon. And where's my bear paws? I'm looking at cotyledon and then I move things around and then now I, I'm lost. Hang on, I have to find the cotyledon or else I don't know where my head is. I just spent the last 10 minutes looking for my bear paws. And I look everywhere and I couldn't find it because it's right in front of me. <laughs> so this is my variegated bear paw. And apparently there's two types. There's a white variegation and a yellow variegation. So this is the yellow variegation. I think they're more expensive or something like that. So anyway, I don't even know. Uh, hang on. I just saw this little, yep, bit of hair or something. Or where did you come from? You got like cat's hair. I don't even have a cat. Or we have our neighbors got a cat. So, oh, look, being blown over here. How did you get there? And I got some, some, something, someone was staring at me. I just look up here and look. What do I see? Look at the gorgeous, the gorgeous whimsy saying, hello, hello. Okay, I'm not going to go there. I'm just going to stay here. We're going to stay here. Okay, and I'm going to move really, really slow. So when I move slow, I talk slow. And when I talk slow, the camera doesn't shake as much. And my two Mendoza, this one is more yellow variegation. And the other one is more greenish variegation. That one, I just put it there yesterday because it was growing under my shelf over there where... The two champagnes are, so those right in the middle of the screen are my pink champagne and my white champagne. And that one is grown under behind those champagnes. And so it's green. I don't know why. It should be... Uh, yeah, it is. It should be green. <laughs> I'm having a succulent brain again. So now, when I move slow... My voice changes. I can't get as excitable. But anyway, it's still gorgeous. The colors, look at that. So I'm pointing with this one and pointing with that one. Being mindful not to move my camera around. And then this one now is my mommy Nexana. Look how many babies it's got. So one, two, three, four. Maybe there's another one on the other side. I can't see. And this one, this is my Victoretta. And this Victoretta is a variegated one. So that's the only one I've got left that is variegated from my mummy, Victoretta, that is over there. So hello, mummy. So mummy, Victoretta is this one here. Oopsie, it's blurry. Okay, that one. Okay. So, <laughs> and the baby is variegated. And it shows, look at gorgeous, gorgeous tips, beautiful. And it's got a sibling behind. That is another sibling of the variegated Victoretta. But this one is not variegated, all well, it's showing, not variega variegated. But I just saw some edges here that it might variegate. So I still have another one, bigger one somewhere, but the other one also has reverted i don't know if it's gonna go back to being variegated again but i'm still holding on to them and i just saw some gorgeous one 
So I'm going to keep them as variegated um, stock. And because who knows, it might throw off some variegation again, even though it's not showing variegation at the moment. And I am focusing on my propagated lavender pebbles. So these two lavender pebbles are the first leaf grown, successful leaf grown I have. But I only managed to get three leaves anyway. The other one died or did not took on when I meant died. It just rotted. But these two form leaves, I mean form babies, <laughs> and now this one's got a baby as well in the bottom. That one is still single, and this one is maternal, very, very uh, maternal, very motherly <laughs> instinct. Hang on, what's going on with you there? How come there's a little depression here? Something... Maybe a bird might have come here because that's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be flat. Maybe you push it out. This lithops has grown and pushed out the uh, colored agates. So these colored agates are colored green, but they will revert back to white because they were originally that white color. And some very clever people dyed them. Anyway, that's it. Now this one is one of my Pachyveria pachytoides variegated. They look very similar. Pachyveria pachytoides and Supreme uh, looks very similar. But this one is showing, oh my goodness, the variegation. How gorgeous is the variegation? Oh, that one there. Wow. Okay, so this is leaf grown. And... Beautiful and also oh pachytoides. There you go. Here we go. Another variegated pachytoides that's also grown from a leaf. My mother pachytoides is somewhere, but anyway, that one now. Pachyveria pachytoides. Look at the beautiful colors, but it's not as strong variegation as the other variegated plants. Like, say, it's not prominent like say the subsicillis. So they have that white powdery look about them, which is, I suppose, um, what do you call that? Call, um, very shabby chic, pastel, that's it, that's a term I was looking for. It's very pastel looking, so which is kind of very cute. Anyway, that's it. Now this is going to be a long, 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 long video and, oh! My gun shoe has formed a lot of this black. Uh, it's like a suit form on the skin. So the skin has gone. All this dust or something. Maybe I could clean it up and spray it with some water and clean it up. Anyway, guys. Oh, I saw another bear paw here. So that one is, I don't know whether you're variegated. I think that's a white variegation. I can't see. Can you see? Anyways, that's it. This Albo Carinata or variegated form or Scudicariae, this one Pachyveria. That's also a beautiful, gorgeous color. Anyway, guys, have a lovely day. I'll see you tomorrow. 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 Who has a red guava tree? Why did you go red? I'm worried now that you might die on me, but the guava tree and my lemon tree in the pot here, they have to go. They have to go outside. And this area now... I'm going to put one of those shelves that I've got here. So that way, it can be happy days. Oh, Mendoza, hello. Hello, Mendoza, cute little pinkness.